Hi, thanks for coming back up again. And we are at the CPC convention with Senator Leo Husakis. Good to be here. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Senator Husakis, for talking to us. Uh, Senator, the campaign has been, uh, the message has been about the common sense. What have you to you say about the campaign so far? Look, uh, Pierre Polyev is starting a movement right across this country. We see how dynamic and how exciting it is uh, here in Quebec City uh, at our National Conservative Policy Convention. And we see so many people from all across the country, from coast to coast to coast, coming here with such a mission. And that is to bring Canada back to where it once was. Hope, uh, prosperity growth, where people from the most humble beginnings could rise to great achievements and great rewards. And the message ultimately from Pierre Polyev is that we need to bring back opportunity and hope to young Canadians. Because for the first time in 2023, young Canadians cannot aspire to have an equal or better life opportunities than their parents and grandparents. It's unacceptable. It is a covenant that has been broken because of Justin Trudeau and the Liberal government. And Pierre Polyev and our movement here is very enthusiastic about bringing back that hope and prosperity for all Canadians. Yeah, and young Canadians are the most to suffer because of the housing crisis this country has, I'm told. What do you have to say about that, and how does the Conservative Party will try to fix that problem? Well, we'll fix it by getting control of government spending. We'll fix it by not having runaway deficits and debt. We'll fix it by getting rid of the gatekeepers and red tape in this country. And we're going to fix it by bringing it home, as Pierre Polyev says. This is my home, your home, our home. And we need to bring it home, and we need to bring it home by making government, getting government out of the way. In, in, you know, unleashing the private sector, unleashing the talent that young Canadians have, and stop punishing hard work, growth, and success, and start to reward it. Even Bank of Canada has mentioned that the carbon tax is inflationary, and all of this inflationary environment would also further devalue the way of life, the way the Canadians live. How do you be able to control that kind of spending that the government has already rolled out? Well, first we're going to ax the tax. Enough of this, you know, taxing people for, for heating their homes, taxing farmers for creating food, taxing truckers uh, from moving food and, and through our infrastructure and bringing it to people's tables, taxing uh, gas and fuel that goes into minivans in this country that allow people to take their children to school and to soccer practice, stop taxing Canadians who are hardworking citizens that need to put fuel in a truck that are going out to build a home or to renovate a property so we can have more housing for Canadians. These are just some of the few things that Pierre Polyev is committed to doing that will allow us to create prosperity. The Conservative Party has, the critics say that uh, it's not a big tent, it doesn't compile everybody. How do you work on that and uh, what are the important things that you look at? Look, I'm a son of immigrants. My parents came here in the 1950s from Europe, war and torn Europe. Uh, they've instilled in me the view and the opera that, you know, if you work hard and you're honest and you follow the rules, it doesn't matter where you come from. You know, hard work and perseverance will propel us to great achievement and great reward. And I'm so proud because I'm a member of this Conservative Party now for close to activists for over 35 years. And let me tell you, I've never seen a convention so representative of our diversity. There's people from every single community group. And I am so proud of that. Like I said, a son of immigrant. Uh, who joined this party back in the early 1980s and I see that we are very much representative of the Canadian mosaic and not just in a symbolic way of naval gazing like Mr. Trudeau does but you see in the next election people stepping up from all communities to be candidates for our party to take positions in our party to, to serve on national council uh, to serve in, in offices and as staff for our MPs and senators and that spirit of openness and integration of all Canadians in our party, again, speaks volumes in terms of who Pierre Polyev is and the kind of country he wants to lead. Uh, just last question, the Conservative Party is basically polling at 12-point uh, leads in some of the polls, and that may change, we have two years to go. What do you think is the strategy for the party and how do you think that will roll out because the two years are big time and a lot can change? Look, I don't look at polls when they're down. I don't look at polls when they're high. The only thing I know that our leader has instilled in his caucus of senators, MPs, and all our staff and all our rank and file that we're on a mission, that we need to work hard. We need to be accountable and transparent. We need to say what we think, 
think what we say and we will continue to do that. It doesn't matter what the polls say today, we are going to continue to do that up until the next election and way beyond because the challenge of rebuilding this country that Justin Trudeau has destroyed and broken and brought to its knees will require hard work. So we're just going to continue to work hard, continue to be honest, continue to call on young Canadians, old Canadians and everybody in between to join this movement. Well, thank you for taking time out and speaking to us. Thank you so much. I'm excited. I'm excited after this wonderful convention, this wonderful weekend, and I'm excited for the hope that Pierre Polyev will re-inject into the Canadian society. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to communicate with your constituents.